We begin tonight with a rally for union fees and union clout. That was the message today from leaders of organized labor and community supporters. The rally at a firehouse in downtown Boston comes with a challenge to mandatory union membership fees being heard by the U.S. Supreme Court that issue our freedom of speech versus the balance of power between unions and employers. And this is a clear case to try to divide the workers, to try to split us up. We won't be fooled by that. We will stand strong because we realize that we have the freedom and that we're not going to let it be taken away so that we can organize and work with our members and be strong. And when everybody shares in collective bargaining, that's how we see the best success. 40 years ago, the United States Supreme Court unanimously decided that we can protect individuals' freedom of speech and protect the freedom of workers to form strong unions. We ask the court today to reaffirm that right for all workers in America. Uh, I think they're trying to uh, decimate organized labor, you know, break down the ranks uh, until there's no one left uh, anymore. And, that's, and this is part of that attack. You know, the national right to work is organized and they've been coming after unions for a while. Uh, they got states going right to work and they're trying to get into the unions here using this uh, as an attack on the public sector. Yes. We believe in capitalism in Boston, but we believe in capitalism with a conscience, and the union movement is the heartbeat of the conscience of the United States of America. This court case is all about dividing workers. That's what this is all about. It's about driving down wages. It's about eliminating benefits. It's about eliminating work rules. And let me just say this to the private unions that are here with us today. They're starting with the public and then they're going to you next.